Hey guys, it's Functional Fitness Friday and I am Batman. Today what I want to do is I want to continue on our review of the Speedo exercise equipment and I want to review the Speedo Griptide. So the first thing that I thought of is when I, when I saw these, I was like, if Batman and the Penguin kind of got together and had this love child, this is what their, their, uh, their upper body would look like. But, um, you know, and I was just like, cool, I get to buy a, a Batman mask. But one of the things that I, I really like about this device, which I was surprised when, when I tried it, is it's very, very comfortable. The, um, the, the rubber is fairly soft. When you're slipping it on, you're not, it's not like a hard plastic that you're gonna get a, any scraping. The handle is a nice size, so it's not a very small diameter that you're gonna, get, you're gonna need to grip it so hard. Uh, and it gives you some really nice resistance. Again, like a lot of the other resistive devices, you're not gonna get a lot of the push-pull resistance, but if you're doing flies or rotations or pull downs or like chop and lifts, diagonal patterns, it's gonna definitely provide you with a good amount of resistance. Another thing that I like about it too is it's fairly buoyant. So, you know, to get that beginning stage of stabilization that you might use a foam bell for or a small kickboard, this kind of works quite well for that. Um, the thing that I don't like about it all that much is that it's pretty monstrous. It's about 17 inches long and about nine inches wide. Uh, and another thing too, is when you're doing things like say, a, you're doing like something coming down this way with your palm in a, a supinated or a up position, sometimes what'll end up happening is that'll, that'll kind of slip out this way. Um, but other than that, you know, if you want to integrate something like this into a circuit with your clients, or you want to work on some nice, uh, just all overall strengthening for upper body, this might work well. So if you want to combine it with, say, like the Speedo push plate that I reviewed last week, this might be a, a, a nice option for you as well. So um, I will show you a video of me kind of putting it through its paces a little bit in my swim spa. Feedback is always appreciated uh, with these videos. I do appreciate everybody's feedback, especially last week. We had some really good feedback about the Speedo push plate, so thank you very much. So you can check out the video. And again, as always, if you want any good uh, virtual or live aquatic fitness, rehabilitation, sports performance training, rickmacavoyaquatics.com. We'll see you guys next Friday. I hope everyone has a very great weekend and a safe 4th of July. And we'll see you later.